I am, I am your American dream. And anybody can be that. And having an education like Estevez will get you there. There's a lot that comes with being a chief nowadays, changing policies, engaging with the community, uh, making sure that the budget is working and making sure that we have a good team uh, that can help the community and engage with that community. My connection to Gustavus started with my parents having a host family in, that had gone to Gustavus. And then after that, it was my sister because she was encouraged by that family, try Gustavus. She was my direct connection to that. And I felt very connected to obviously my sister, to the community that Gustavus is at the top of a hill and to a connection to the community that is there uh, in St. Peter. From the beginning, as soon as you graduate, you still have that network of people um, that are, oh, you're Augusti? That's awesome. So even when I started with the patrol, like somebody would say something that's like, I went to Gustavus too, and then you just have that communication. Policing is having that engagement with people and be able to communicate with people and be able to get the facts and move on and help people. Throughout my career, I didn't see many women or many people of color that were in leadership positions, much less like a, as a partner, but they weren't too many. For me, what I'm hoping is that people see me in this position, kids see me in this position and they say, I can be that because she's also brown, or I can be that because she's also a girl. But I'm the first full-time female and I'm the first female Hispanic. Um, unfortunately, in Minnesota, there's a chief. Um, but I will not be the last.